morning and welcome to another studio vlog. If you watched the last vlog that was about London and Top Draw, you would know what this is behind me. This is my largest order I've ever had. And behind me is currently 2,000 desk planners and manifestation pads and monthly calendars and bits of stationery, 2,000, or what should be 2,000. I haven't checked it yet. I am yet to open the boxes and I need to go through every single one and check that they are okay. So my fingers and toes are crossed that they have been printed correctly and the glue is on the right edge and everything is fine. I'm still waiting for another thousand to arrive and I'm wondering where I'm going to put them. Each box is so heavy. The delivery took like 20 minutes and I haven't opened the boxes yet because I was afraid that something would go wrong and I had lots of things to do yesterday. Um, so I put it off and it didn't, it didn't arrive till like 2 p.m. yesterday and I was already in the zone of doing work and yeah, so today's the day I need to go through every single box and make sure the stationery is all correct. Um, I've used one new manufacturer, which isn't this one, this is the manufacturer I always use, but for the next delivery I've used a new manufacturer so I'm even more worried about that. So yeah, let's get into opening the boxes. So I'm going to start with this box and I can already see that they are the new planners that I ordered that I haven't actually been, sell um, been selling it anywhere yet. Oh, and I think they're perfect. Oh, they glued on the right side. Everything looks great. So we have a section for the important bits and to buy the week and the weekend and a to-do list and a habit tracker. So this is my first weekly A4 planner and I love the colours. It was inspired by a branding project that I did that was made up by myself. So I love this style. Oh yes, I'm so happy with these. So that is the first design checked off. I just need to check now that there are 500 of these because they have ordered 500 of each design. So that's six designs in total to make 3,000 units. So I just need to check that um, the quantity is correct and I have a bunch of salo bags upstairs because they obviously require these to be sold in their stores because there's so many of them. Obviously, if it was a small independent shop, they're more likely to go plastic free. But yeah, what can you do? We can only do our best. So first design and I feel a little bit better. Now let's get on to checking the quantity and then the rest of the boxes. Okay, so I just counted the first box and weirdly the total is 86. I thought maybe there'd be 100, so 50 here, 50 here, but a very strange quantity is 86. So if these boxes fit in 86 and I've ordered 500, it's going to be a very weird number of boxes. Maybe some boxes will include two different designs, um, but yes, so far we have 86 out of 500. Let's do this one next. So this one is more of the same design. So let's just check the quantity again. So the same again, we have 86 again. So that's a total of 172 out of 500 so far. Even though I've checked these over a million times, I'm still scared that like there's going to be a misspelling like Wednesday, I don't know, just something wrong. But I'm checking every single one and they're all spelled correctly. I've checked them so many times. I have never been more worried or scared to receive an order in my entire life because um, if something messes up, it's going to be so stressful. This has been a lot of money to buy and I won't get paid until... June or July 
the lead time for these large companies um, to pay invoices is quite long and that's that's quite normal in the industry. So, but yeah, that I, I am literally like broke now because <laughs> I've spent so much on this stationery. So if something goes wrong, I will have a breakdown. Um, but so far, so good. This box weirdly only has 83. The other two had 86 that are over there. This one has 83. So I'm just making a note as I go and hopefully it all adds up to 500. There's 90 in this box, 87 in this box and 70 in this box. So that means I have 502 in total. So either I've counted wrong or I have two left over, which is great because I want to keep one for myself. But when we pack them, when I say we, I mean me, my mum and my boyfriend. When we pack them, I'll be counting them again just to make sure everything is correct because I would hate to give them less than what they've ordered. That'll be my nightmare. Hopefully there's two left over. And that is it for this design. I'm going to have a break now because my arms are aching from carrying the boxes and moving them over there. I am built like a noodle, so this this, this isn't the job for me. I'm going to have a break, have some food, and then get on to counting the next design. Next up are these A5 daily desk planners. You can't quite see. There we go. That's better. So these are A5 sized, have 50 pages. These are already in my shop, but there should be 500 of these in these boxes. So let's count them. design should be yes the manifestation desk pads yes these are glued correctly as well and now for the final design in this shipment which should be my best selling monthly calendar I'm trying to do this with one hand okay let's hope that they've glued the right side Yes. So that is all the designs in this shipment. There's four designs in this shipment and I'm waiting for another shipment of to-do lists which feature two designs. So today I have 2,000 planners. I have gone through 1,500 and I have 500 of these to track over just to make sure there's 500 at least. And then I can begin packing these ones because I don't think the to-do list will arrive until Friday, maybe, maybe Monday next week. But that'll be a smaller order because I know a lot of to-do lists can fit in one box, thankfully. So it won't be too many more boxes, maybe like three or four boxes. So yeah, all the designs today are perfect. I am so relieved. It's taken me all day to check them all so far and I still got these ones to do. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy. So it's day two of checking the boxes and I dropped one on my fingers yesterday. So I'm trying to just not do so much with this hand, but I'm on the last design now. I still have a couple hundred to count and then they would all be counted and organized here. So I finally finished uh, counting these. I have 502 of these. So everything is counted. I just need to pack those back into the box and stack them up on there once I regain some strength. So now I'm in the studio manically printing stickers to go on the backs of all the stationery. My cricket is on, so apologies for the noise. This is what they look like. Um, they just say Coco Natasha, pretty positive stationery on eco-friendly paper, and then my website. Um, because they requested that every piece of stationery has its own branding, and I thought I could print these myself. So that's 3,000 stickers and each page has 21 stickers. So I've worked it out, it's roughly 150 pages I need to print and cut. And so far, I think I've done about 30. And I just priced up getting them printed elsewhere. So like Solo Press, Vistaprint, um, you know, printed.com. 
and it's quite expensive. Well, I mean, it's not, it's really good value, but because I am broke and I'm trying to save money and I won't get paid for this order until summer, I'm just trying to save as much as I can. And I've already bought sticker paper and ink to do this. So I'm manically printing 3000 stickers myself. In all of this hustle and bustle, I forgot to go to the post office yesterday and, and I have orders to get out. So after these print and cut, I'm gonna need to run to the post office and I've upgraded all the shipping from second class to first class um, just because they're, they're a day or two late now and I feel really bad. It's just been a really busy, intense time. It is now Friday and I'm just dropping off another batch of orders to the post office. got mam taking them from the boxes and putting these stickers on them piling them up here for me and then i pop them in the salo bags and pile them up here and that is our production line so far how do you feel about helping me it's okay so far not too bad let you know in an hour we've been working an hour so far and we've packed 260 out of 3000 Right there is 260. Lunch break! Just in the studio now, we actually packed 586 planners today out of 3,000. So there's still a lot to do, um, but I need to pack some last minute Mother's Day orders. We have lots of the new greeting cards that I made. They are selling really well. So I have the step mum in a million and the mum in a million. And I have other ones like 30th birthday and you're like a mum to me and normal ones like engagement ones birthday ones things like that so some last minute cards to get sent out to the post office and then i'm calling it a day today because i am tired my back is in pieces from this morning yeah but so far so good fingers crossed it continues the to-do lists are arriving tomorrow so that's the the last thousand that i'm waiting for they're all to-do lists and they're arriving tomorrow from solo press who I, I haven't ordered to-do lists from before so fingers crossed that goes okay early morning start so i can get these packed good morning okay okay So stickers are being cut and I also have some wedding stationery to foil so I'm doing that now as well at the same time and stickers are being printed.
so the final delivery has arrived um i don't know why they're in all different shaped boxes but these should be 1000 to-do lists which i'm gonna need to check through now i look like an egg today and i'm out of breath from carrying all those boxes in and i gotta go through them and i'm still printing and cutting the labels i've done 2300 and something now and there's 700 more to go and my cricket is currently playing up and not reading the sensor marks proper, um, properly so uh, it's all hands on deck just my hands just two hands on deck um and also i'm doing the wedding stationery order and then i have other orders like last minute mother's day cards and bits and pieces and emails to get back to it's it's insane it's, this week is crazy okay time for nervous breakdown part two while we open and check through these okay yes oh, they work much i'm excited are you excited yes they worked well they're a bit floppy the board backing isn't as thick as my previous manufacturer but the goal was to get these printed cheaply and we have achieved the goal and they work and yes so that is one design um i need to check through the quantity and make sure the other design has printed okay as well fingers crossed they are a bit floppier than i would like because the backing board isn't as thick as where i usually get them made and if i got these made for my shop um, obviously I'd sell them at a higher price because this order, the main thing was to get everything as cheap as possible, obviously, because they, they need to sell them on for a, a really good discounted price. Um, so if I had these made for my shop, I would get the thicker option, but I think these are good enough. Like there's nothing wrong with them really. I'm just being fussy, um, but I'm happy. So just need to check the quantity, 500 of this design, 500 of the next design. So let's check. This is the other design. Let's check. Looks great. The colors are really nice. And it's perfect. Okay, so if I counted correctly, we should have 522 of these, which means 22 extras, which is great. And I should have 534 of these if I've counted correctly, which is nice because there's some extra, which means if anything goes wrong, I hope not, then there's extras just in case. So currently on this side, the boxes are what we've already packed in cello bags. And this side is what we have left to do. I say we because I'm waiting for my mum to come over and help me pack them into cellos because we had like a good system going yesterday. Um, and I need to get on with the wedding invitations and the orders and everything else I got going on in the shop as well. It's really hard to do everything at the moment. now 20 past seven i have put the camera really far away so you can't see how much of a mess i am i am exhausted we managed to pack 1500 in the cello bags so far so we are halfway through packing each item in the cello bags and then after they're all packed in the bags i have to organize them into two separate orders so there's customs forms and labels and all the weird crazy labels stuff to sort out all the admin and the boring stuff that's very very intense um i think i 
did a little video of the instruction manual which is 60 pages long so yeah i'm just in the studio now getting back to emails i actually have a live small business panel event tomorrow over on zoom it's my first live discussion i'm really nervous but that's tomorrow at half 12 so maybe that'll be like a nice break in between the chaos um so yeah i'll see you tomorrow Good morning, it is Wednesday today. Um, I have the webinar thing at half 12, so I am ready for that. Uh, I'm a bit nervous, I don't know what to expect. I know we are chatting about how businesses survive in their first five years because the common saying is businesses don't survive in the first five years, or most. I thought it was the first two years, but the topic of discussion today is how businesses survive in their first five years, how we have survived or how we plan to survive. And I have actually been full time in my business five years this year. So it'll be almost five years for me. So I guess we just talk about that and the ups and downs of being your own boss and how you overcome making mistakes and getting to a routine and having a work-life balance and paying the bills. It's on Zoom, you have to uh, sign up to attend, but I think it will be recorded. So if you miss it, you might be able to watch it back later. I hope it goes well. Um, apart from that, uh, I have to get on with normal Etsy orders. I have a few more Mother's Day cards to go out. It is Wednesday and Mother's Day is on Sunday. So people have been very last minute. Um, but I will be sending them all first class and praying that they arrive in time. And then I need to get on with the packing situation downstairs, which is insane. So my friend is coming over today to help me and my mum and my dad. So there'll be four of us today. And we've been timing how long it takes for us to pack one box. So one person, it takes 40 minutes. Two people, it takes 20 minutes. And with three people, it took us 10 minutes. But that was the boxes with the bigger monthly planners. So there was only 80 in a box. Now we are on to the A5 planners and there's like 160 in a box. So it's going to take us a bit longer than the previous boxes because there's more in a box. It's very tedious, very boring, but I want it all done and all packed in their salad bags for tomorrow because then I need to figure out how I need to pack them according to the shipping manual and the guide and how everything needs to be done. It's very, very precise. The positive is I don't have to pay for shipping. The negative is you basically have to do another A-level to understand how this shipping process works. Like, I'm like, am I just stupid? But I've given the manual to friends and family and they all look at it like, what the hell? So um, yeah, that is today. So let's get on with the day. So the panel event has just finished. It was actually really fun. Um, I don't know why I was so nervous in the beginning. I could feel my heart in my chest like that. And I wanted to have my tea, but I was shaking a little bit, so I couldn't. I cleaned my office though um, in preparation, so that's nice. Um, but then it was fun. Um, I need to get on with orders now and the insane packing. So let's get on with that.
last box. This is a small box. Is that it for me? Just ran into Tesco's because I needed printer paper and I didn't realise I ran out because I need to print off all the labels, the invoices, the packing lists and everything else now. So basically all I'm doing now is counting each and every single one and splitting them into two separate orders because one's going to go to Germany. So I'm going to pile up the Germany side, this side, and the other side is going to go to the UK. But I just need to sort through and see which is going to the UK and which is going to Germany. So that's going to take me a while. So I have to make sure these labels are on the boxes. This way up and heavy, I had to print these myself. They're just quick, um, bad jobs. And some labels for my logo, just in case they're wondering who these are from. They shouldn't because I've written they're from me on the little labels and stuff. But I have to apply these to six of the boxes because they are over 25 kilograms in weight. And they technically needed two people to lift the boxes. However, no one is allowed to help me on their end to put these into the van. I have to do it myself, so that'll be interesting. This one is nagging me for attention. <laughs> Paul? Oh, thank you. Don't bite it. He's a good boy and a little bite as well, a little nibble. Are you cute? Are you handsome? Are you beautiful? <laughs> my hair yet today and I look really tired because I have to be up early to take the car to the garage. I don't know if I'm going to keep this in, Ugh. but I am up early because today is the next collection for the big wholesale order. I don't think I filmed but last weekend was crazy because I basically had this wholesale order split into two separate orders, one going to Germany and one going to the UK. Um, 10 boxes are going to Germany, so that's around a thousand, and uh, 19 boxes are for the UK, so that's around about 2,000. And they asked, could they collect last week while I was at a wedding? So I replied saying, no, um, you can't collect this day, however, I can do it any other day after that. Lo and behold, they turned up to collect anyway, and I wasn't here, so that was a drama. And then I booked in the next one for the next day, thinking it was Monday, and I was tipsy at this point at the wedding and accidentally booked her in for the day after. So they turned up again then the day after and I wasn't here. So I had to rush home and that was for the Germany order. So that's been sent off. And now the UK order is being picked up sometime today. So around about a week, yeah, a week later. Um, the only problem is these boxes are over 25 kilograms each and I am here by myself. My partner has COVID so he can't help me. Um, no one is around to help because everyone works and has full-time jobs. It's just little old me and the driver isn't allowed to help with the um, picking up of the boxes because they're so heavy. So when I answer the door and he sees me bringing out 19 super heavy boxes, which actually have labels on them saying a two-person lift. Yeah, we're going to be there for a while. It's going to be a bit tough. I'm feeling positive right now. I know I can do it. It'll just take some time. I lifted them all into my living room. I haven't lifted them all into a van yet. But once that's done, the wholesale order is complete and I can send off the invoices. Breathe a bit because it's been, oh my God, so stressful. Last weekend when the deliveries got messed up, there was tears, it was stressful, it was, ah, uh, yeah. but it was all just because of miscommunication and misunderstanding. Apart from that, so far, the process has seemed harder than what it actually has been. So like the instruction booklet and the rules of shipping and packing and getting things delivered and sent out, like the thought of all that is really daunting and overwhelming. But when I've actually been doing it, the process has been manageable. So I'm just in the studio now and need to get on with the day. I got some cards to make, a podcast for Patreon, 
and um, prepping a tutorial for Patreon as well, all about my catalogue and how I've made it and what to put in it. Um, yeah, and I just wait for the delivery. I couldn't make it up if I tried. So they came to collect in a gigantic lorry and I was like, oh my God, how am I gonna get every single box onto this giant lorry? Basically, long story short, they couldn't collect because the driver was told that there was two pallets that need to be collected. And I said, no, that's wrong. Um, nothing is on a pallet. It's all 19 separate boxes. He said that he can't collect separate boxes because the truck is so big, things need to be on pallets. And I was like, I'm a house. I don't, I'm not in a way a house. I'm a residential home. I don't have pallets. I can't use pallets. They're all separate boxes. We had a van, a transit van last week, pick up the first order. Um, so I'm not sure why they've sent a gigantic lorry. And he was like, I don't know. So it was a waste of his time. It was a waste of my time. There's obviously some miscommunication going on somewhere. And I've realized there's, I don't know, about five different companies involved. I'm stuck with the boxes again. And I wanted to get rid of them because I wanted to rip up my carpet this week and lay down some new flooring and level the floor because that's been waiting now for three months. Um, But I don't think I'll be ripping up the carpet now this week. So I'm trying not to stress. I think subconsciously I'm stressed, but I mean, last weekend I was crying and and things were very stressful and I felt... I didn't feel good, but now I'm just like, what can, what can I do? So I think I'm just stressed at the back of my head, but I'm, I don't know, I'm being cool about it. So I've emailed the company who have purchased uh, the stationery, let them know what's going on. They are, they're so lovely, so understanding. They, they help me sort things out. There's clearly something going on within the logistics side of things and the couriers and the companies used there. So, I don't know, but another week with the boxes, it seems. It's Saturday today and there is nothing else to do other than work because uh, everyone's busy. My boyfriend has COVID um, and I just don't know what to do with myself. So I am I decided to run a second sale tomorrow on Sunday because I have a few of the Wish You Were Here pins um, that have little small smudges. You can't quite see tiny tiny imperfections on them and I wouldn't want to charge full price but they're still they're still almost perfect they're like 99% perfect um so I'm gonna put them in a second sale tomorrow along with along with a few of these manifestation pads because these are slightly thinner than I like there's definitely less than 50 pages in that and these that I've had for ages that were glued on the wrong side so they are the second sale pieces, but also I'm going to run a sale on the sweaters because I want to clear them out. It's not sweater season anymore, although it is quite cold and energy prices are going up. So it, I'm still wearing mine all the time. Um, but I have, they are the only sweaters I have left. Two pink, two blue, four pumpkin and quite a few purple. Um, so they will be 25% off and the t-shirts there, I think I have about seven, eight left. They'll be half price. So I'm just planning on my marketing, doing an email, a reminder for people. Um, I know people aren't really in the buying mood lately, but hopefully a nice sale with decent, like everything's more or less half price apart from the sweaters, they're 25% off. Yeah, so there's that's what I'm up to today. There's nothing else for me to do. I'm just working on a Saturday um and prepping emails and stuff and hopefully monday the boxes downstairs will be gone and i can start my carpet and flooring next weekend so i've just been working on these little planner pages i'm thinking can be either printable or i can make them into pages to go into maybe small filofax planners and refillable planners mm -hmm. so i'm thinking of like a budget planner and savings goals so here we have things that you may be saving for, the price of them, and the savings you have so far. And then a monthly expense sheet. So your income, salary, savings, other income, um, for example, if you have an Etsy shop or side business or things like that in the total. And then all your expenses here, gas, electric, water, petrol, food, entertainment, everything there and the total there. So you know what you're earning, and what's coming in per month 
and also what's going out per month on average. And then like a weekly budget to, I guess, keep on top of things and keep on top of your spendings, um, just so you know what's what and what you're spending on, what you can cut back on and what you're saving for in order to reach your goals. These are just a test at the moment, but I'm hoping I've purchased some luxury paper to print them on and I have the hole punch. I even have the planners over there, um, but I don't think I'm going to sell them in the planners yet. I'm thinking of just maybe making packs of planner pages, refillable planner pages. And I think a nice budget finance one would be a good place to start because that's where I struggle and that's where I like to keep on top of things and make sure I know what's what. So yeah, I'm going to try these. So I printed a test page. Um, it hasn't cut out perfectly. I don't know why. Maybe the borderless satins are a bit strange because two pages are a bit um, smaller than the other two pages for some reason. Um, also the paper, I'm just using plain printer paper at the moment because my nice paper hasn't arrived. And as you can see, it's um, a bit see-through, but hopefully with the new thicker paper, it won't be see-through and it'll be all nice and lovely. Um, the hole punch worked amazingly though and it fits perfectly into an A6 size planner. So um, we're on the right track. Afternoon, it is Sunday, six o'clock, well, 20 past six, and I am prepping for the second sale and I am printing, well, testing some new things um, for refillable planner pages. And I just had the nice paper delivered. So I'm gonna try out the pages on that. Um, but my main focus is the sale and making sure everything is loading correctly and goes smoothly. So here's an example of one of the seconds pins. You can see on the gold, it's slightly scuffed. That's about it. So these will be four pounds instead of eight pounds. I think they still make really nice gifts and you can't really tell from far away unless you look up really close. I've also just printed these and on the left we have the old standard printed paper, which you can see is very um, see-through. And here we have the new thicker paper, which is definitely thicker, it's nice and smooth. You can still slightly see through it when you hold up to the light especially, but when it's flat, a bit less so. But the paper is very thick. I don't know if you can tell on video, but compared to this, I don't know, this is just nice, smooth and thick. And on the other side, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with how it looks. I think I'm gonna move everything over to the left and over to the right a bit so that the holes don't take up so much, um, like the ring binder just takes up a lot of space. So if everything is moved over a little bit, it obviously won't be in the center then, but I think that will lend itself well to the planner itself. But yeah, look at the difference. I also think the colors are a bit nicer on the thicker paper. But again, I don't know if you can tell on the video. The sale goes live in a minute and we have seven people waiting already. I find this so weird, but so cool to see everyone. Hello, friends. I hope you get what you want. So the sale is going well. It is quarter past seven and I think I've had four sales now, um, which is as expected. So I am happy. I just want to make some space in the studio so I can make more things like these. So... I've just moved everything over on this one. This one was the original and I've moved everything over to the right this side and over to the left on this side. So there's a little bit of space by the holes, which means that this isn't central anymore, but I don't think that matters when you've got holes in the middle, but let's compare it to previous. It's much better. So yeah, I was just thinking I need some help with my budgeting lately. And I like to write things down all in one place. And I think this looks really nice. And I'm actually looking forward to filling it in. Um, yeah, so I'm going to print the other pages now and see how they look in the planner. And go from there and hopefully make a little refillable planner page set. So it is 8 o'clock now. The sale has died down. Um, I actually had an order from someone in the same street as me, but I don't know who they are. So I'll be hand delivering that one. So yeah, I'm really happy with the way everything went. I'm still working on the planner pages, but I will leave that for the next vlog because this one has gone on for too long now. Hopefully the boxes get picked up tomorrow. 
um yeah tomorrow is monday fresh new week so i'm gonna end the vlog here thank you so much for watching and i will speak to you soon Thank you.